Dan Colco, Bo Porter back with you on our Nats Extra pregame show. Bo, Steven Strasburg gets the ball for the Nationals tonight in a decisive Game 5 in Los Angeles. Let's break down Steven Strasburg and his pitch usage over the course of the last couple seasons and then in Game 2 when he shut down the Dodgers. 2018, the entire regular season, the 19 entire regular season, and then Game 2. Obviously, he stopped throwing the slider entirely, but take a look at the fastball decrease over the course of 18, 19, and Game 2 and the uptick in curveballs from 19.5% to 30.7% during the regular season this year, and then 40% of his pitches in Game 2. Bo, let's start with the curveball, and then we'll get to the fastball in a minute. What do you make of Steven throwing more fastballs, especially in Game 2, and what do you make of the way that he used that pitch against these Dodgers hitters? Well, I think when you look at the curveball, I think to me it's more important of when he's going to use his curveball. And when you look at Steven Strasburg and his overpowering fastball, the fact that he can command it to all quadrants of the strike zone, his ability to use his curveball, especially when he's behind in the count, is what really separates Steven Strasburg from most pitchers in Major League Baseball. And when I talk about behind in the count, this is 65% when he is behind in the count. He went to his curveball in game two and let's go to the tape and look at some of these at bats and we're going to break this down when you look here it's a 2-1 count that's a fastball count and he goes breaking ball he gets him out in front because he's geared up for the fastball and then he comes back and he throws a freeze fastball away that actually was strike three he didn't ring him up he then go curveball and he gets chased that's how you set a hitter up from fast to slow now you go behind in the count he goes another curveball in a fastball count he gets swing and miss and then he goes a changeup now off the plate because he has them slowed down now. He goes change up again. He goes top of the zone fastball. At this point, he can go any which way he want to go. He chooses the bottom of the strike zone and gets the strikeout. Again, a 1-0 count, predictable fastball count. And what do you get? You get a backdoor breaking ball. He now gets back even in the count. He's now even in the count, and now he's going to go change up to slow him down even more. And if you're Bellinger, you're saying to yourself, here come a fastball. No, there's another change up. He goes back to back. He punches him out. We go 2-1. Now this is Muncie. Again, a fastball count. He gets a breaking ball. He fouls it off. That gets him back even into the count. He goes another breaking ball. He now has him slowed down. And what do you do? You go top of the zone fastball because you have him slowed down. He's able to foul it off, and now he throws a freeze fastball. That fastball to Muncie looks like 110 after the sequence that Steven Strasburg displayed there. That's what makes this guy so special. When you think about him arriving at the big leagues and throwing 98, 99, most hitters get in the box. They're just gearing up, gearing up. And Steven Strasburg, early in his career, if he fall behind in the count, you almost knew, uh, almost 95% of the time, you were going to get a fastball because he believed in it. This guy has evolved. He understands pitching. His pitch ability is what sets him apart for most pitchers in Major League Baseball. Okay, Bo, so he's throwing more curveballs, especially when behind in the count. This is a Dodgers lineup that is always hunting heaters. Do you think that this approach is especially tailored to this Dodgers lineup because of the way that they crush fastballs? This is why I believe Steven Strasburg can go through this lineup tonight like a, like a knife through hot butter. And I say this because the fact that he slowed them down in his previous starts, whenever he get ready to use his fastball tonight, I, I just think it's going to surprise these guys because of all the analytics and all the information that we have available to us. I think these guys are going to get in the box and they're going to be paralyzed. Yeah. They're going to be looking for the curveball and they go to heater. They're going to be looking for the, the heater, here come the curveball. They're going to be looking for the fastball and then here come the changeup. Steven Strasburg has this team exactly where he wants them at because of the fact that he has three plus pitches that he can throw in any count and he has the confidence to throw them in any count. And then more importantly, all three of them come out of the same tunnel. Right. So from a hidden standpoint, it's not like you can pick one or the other. They literally are at a point where if you're the Los Angeles Dodgers, you have to pick one quadrant and live with it and hope that's the quadrant he come to.